Hi everyone! In this video, we will be discussing everything you need to know about company registrations in South Africa. Now, step number one for any new business is to register a PTY company with CIPC. A PTY company in South Africa is also known as a private company or a PTY limited company. It is currently the best preferred legal company format option you have in South Africa if you want to make profit with your business and is used 99% of the time. The other business formats such as co-ops and public companies are very specialized. We will get into that in another video, so please subscribe to our channel for more great content. If you want to stay up to date with what is happening in South Africa's world of compliance, remember to click that bell button as well and get notified of our new releases aimed to help your business grow. The PTY business format works for anyone from an entrepreneur running a side hustle with 5,000 income per month up to a big private corporate business with 1 billion in turnover per month. So, you may wonder, what are the benefits of registering a PTY company? Well, here are six of the top advantages you can expect when you register your company. Number one is credibility. Gain credibility and trust with your customers and other businesses. Now, you look more professional when you operate under a registered business name and registration number. When you want to obtain new clients, contracts or tenders, they compare you to your competitors by looking at who is formally registered and who's not. Number two would be your company name. If you have your business name registered and trademarked, no one else can use that business name. Number three is growth. So, if you have a registered company, there are shares allocated to the company that investors can buy, or you can also use these shares to sell to raise capital for your company. Number four is limited liability. A registered company offers you a safe legal structure where your business assets and risks are separated from your personal ones. Number five is funding. When you apply for a loan or funding, the bank or funding institutions will only look at your application if you have formal company registration documents. Number six is tax. In a formal business, you can write off business expenses. If you trade under your own name, SARS makes it very difficult for you to claim back tax for business-related expenses. Next, let's talk about ownership on a PTY company. What is the difference between a director and a shareholder? And how do I point each of them? A private company must appoint at least one director upon company registration at CIPC. There's currently no limit to the maximum number of directors. So directors, they manage the company. They are responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of the business and their details appear on the company registration documents. Shareholders, they own the company and do not have to be involved with management. It is common for the directors and shareholders to be the same people. In some cases, another company, a trust or an investor can also be the shareholder of a company. Every company needs to initially make a number of shares available to the current and future shareholders. This is done at no cost during the company registration process at CIPC and is shown on the MOI certificate of a company. Normally, the share allocation amounts can vary. For example, you can have 100 or 1000. In most cases, we recommend you start with 1000 for some extra flexibility. Now, the issuing of shares needs to be done after your company registration is completed at CIPC. Each shareholder needs to be provided with an official share certificate which stipulates the number of shares allocated to an individual, a company or a trust. 
This also serves as proof of ownership. This is a legal document not provided by CIPC, but by a third party. Now, another very important aspect of the company registration process is your allocated tax number by SARS. By law, a private company is treated as a separate legal entity and must also register as a taxpayer with SARS. When your PTY company is registered, it will automatically be registered for income tax with SARS. Your income tax number will appear in the MOI document which CIPC can send to you after registration. Make sure you request it as CIPC does not automatically send this document as well. They should also send you a SARS Notice of Registration document which confirms your income tax registration number as well as your tax obligation as a company. Now there are two main options to register a company in South Africa. The first option is to do everything yourself through CIPC directly. This is your cheapest option if you have time to spare. It will also be the best route to take if you understand the company's acts of 2008, then you should also understand how to correctly set up your company share allocation, your MRI, shareholder certificates and tax. The second option is to use a company registration specialist like Company Partners. We offer a fast, simple and easy company registration service. We also have experienced business specialists that will ensure all your company registration admin is done perfectly based on what your business needs. Our consultation is free, but for our specialized services, we do charge a fee. This is the best option for you if you want to save time and energy to focus fully on your business. Our service allows you to receive your company documents ASAP and it is done admin free. All you need is your ID number. We can register your business anywhere in South Africa online. And because we are so passionate about helping entrepreneurs, we also include free business growth training and more. Well, there you have it. We hope you have learned everything you need to know about the PTY company registration process in South Africa. Now you might have some more questions after watching this video. So we have created a separate video for you on the FAQs around the PTY company registration that we have identified through our years of experience working with CIPC and many entrepreneurs in South Africa. So make sure you check it out to cover all your bases. If you are ready to register a company now, you will also get a bunch of extra free essential services for your startup, like an online bank account, a BE affidavit, website design, and so much more. If you are in urgent need of a company with a compliance certificate, our shelf company format will be the best option for you. So check out the video link below to learn more. We've also linked our video below on how you can test your business idea to make money. If you're just getting started, that one will be really helpful. If you have more questions, call us on our toll-free number on 0800-007-269 to speak to a company registration specialist today. Remember, company partners are your partners to help you start and grow your business into a success story. Be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and let us know what you think in the comments below. See you next time.